Good evening, greetings from Heindel Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So we have lots of big changes. Big, big changes. 2021 Ural CT. Yes, I said 2021. Today's the end of, well, it's the 23rd of September. This bike was manufactured sometime during July and shipped in. Just got her assembled. Just came in today and got it assembled. Wanted to see what kind of odds and ends differences there were. And we'll go ahead and we'll walk around the, the bike and then we'll go over the little changes that we noted when we did the assembly. Of course, 2021 model year is pretty much same technical specifications as the 19s and 20s. It's a very similar machine. Just a few little minor, minor changes, a couple little minor details, I guess. Uh, like I said, this is a 2021 Ural CT in the Terracotta Metallic. Um, so Terracotta Metallic is a premium color, so that's a $1,000 upcharge over the base price of $15,549. And then you see this unit also has the black powertrain, which adds another $1,000. And then the other option that this unit has, we ordered it through with the round retro lights you see there we have round lights on the sidecar fender and then we also have the round light on the rear of the motorcycle and then you've heard me talk before about uh, moving the turn signal into the inside there uh, you definitely you can do that very easily still the same engine same transmission of course same final drive uh, this is a one wheel drive unit this is the first of the 21's that we assembled uh, did get several of them in today uh, but this is just the first one that was well, it was on top of the pile, so we went ahead and assembled it first. Uh, CT also comes standard with the short, clear sidecar windscreen that you see there. And if you have to buy that as an accessory for one of the other models, that runs $349.95. And we keep those in stock all the time. And the unit also comes with a tonneau cover. Uh, it's inside the trunk. We've got the tonneau in there. Um, little change this year looks like the owner's manuals are coming excuse me coming with the uh coming with the motorcycles from the factory uh previously if you guys didn't know those came uh, separately with the mcos um, from the importers so those are now coming with the motorcycle from the factory one other little change we did note uh, looks like we got a logoed oil filter now with the bold ural logo lettering instead of the smaller uh, ural insignia that was on there and then we have a new escutcheon plate escutcheon plate uh, those were silver before and now that's a black looks like a black plastic uh, kind of blends in a little bit better there uh, rather than that big silver thing they had in the end of 2021 or the end of 2020 so that's a little minor change for the 21 And just so you know, I'm not fooling you about being a 21. Uh, we have the engine number here. We have M. I know it's very easy to be to think it's a uh, 19 or 20 because there's not a whole lot of difference. But this is a 21 model M there. And then I'll show you the VIN number as well. Uh, the VIN numbers are stamped on the frame over here on the right hand side. See right there. Do have an M in the VIN number, which signifies 21 for. And we are in the United States, so a lot of times I forget we have a lot of international subscribers, which we really appreciate you guys watching the channel all over the world. Uh, definitely, it's always unique to find out uh, what countries we're, we're getting into and reaching out to. Um, definitely really like you guys supporting the channel, so definitely like, comment, subscribe on that. Uh, but, uh, you know, I always forget we have international folks, so... If you're looking for pricing information, you know, you're going to need to look it up in your own uh, in your own market uh, rather than the United States. Uh, so all the pricing that I give is United States pricing because we are a dealer here in the U.S. And if you remember right, uh, in 20, we were offering free black exhaust. Uh, that special, of course, ended with the 20s. Uh, we were throwing in a black exhaust system with the uh, 2020 models that had the black powertrain. Uh, so this year in 21, what are we going to do? Uh, well, we're going to do LED lights. Um, we're going to do LED lights all the way around. Whether you get the round retro lights or whether you get the uh, standard trapezoidal shaped lights, we're going to be throwing in LED lights. Uh, standard LED light kit, light bulb kit's about a hundred and some dollars, and I think the headlight upgrade is a hundred and something. 
Um, and then we also throw in the uh, correct flasher and all that good stuff. So we'll go ahead and get those installed. Uh, I haven't done that yet on this unit, but it will be getting LED headlight. Uh, the little marker light down there will be LED as well. And then we'll be having LEDs for the turn signals. Uh, we'll change the flasher out. And then the festoon bulbs for the tail light turn signals on the round lights will be changed. Uh, so everything will be LED. And those will match if you go with the front bumper, the LED driving lights on the front of the sidecar. Those will match very well. So this is the uh, first of the 2021s that we received. This is a CT model again, a single wheel drive. And we do sell a bunch of the CTs. I've got a lot of repeat customers that have had two wheel drive in the past and then want to go with a one wheel drive. Um, for most of what they do, the one wheel drive works just fine, but uh, the two wheel drive is fun if you do go off road or whatnot. So, kind of a personal preference thing. If I had to choose one, if I was going to be on the street 90 95% of the time, uh, it would be a one wheel drive CT. Nope, no problem whatsoever. Uh, if you're going to do a lot of hunting, fishing, camping, that sort of thing, go off road, um, on forest service roads, or be out in the woods. Then the two-wheel drive is handy. Uh, or if you're going to drive one in the winter, it's helpful as well. Uh, but uh, you can take a CT and you can put, uh, put a knobby tire on it and be good to go. And we'll bring you in close here so you can see the paint. Uh, this is a metallic paint. It is the uh, Terracotta Metallic. Used to be on standard color on a patrol years ago. Uh, it now is a premium paint. Uh, so this metallic paint is premium. So pricing wise, we're looking at about eighteen five forty nine uh, on this unit. And that's because you have custom paint color, you have black powertrain, and then you have the uh, round retro lights, and then we throw in, of course, the LEDs as I mentioned. Uh, base price on a CT is $15,549, and then as you've heard me mention before, the option cost for premium paint is $1,000, the option cost for the black powertrain is $1,000, um, and I think the light kit's right at $9 something, so. And we can also do undercoating on them if you want uh, factory undercoating, uh, that's available for $600. Uh, you can also have the inside of the tub undercoated for another $6. And then they've started something new this year. They'll do, we can do painted frames if you want. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to get those, but uh, we can, we can uh, you know, quote you a special bike with individually painted parts. I can get the shocks painted, uh, the forks painted, and all that good stuff. Uh, so if you wanted those in a different color other than the black, that is an option. And if you're just looking at one, thinking about purchasing, uh, you know, you see all those different unique options that you can do. Yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff with them. Uh, it's just like automobiles or trucks. You can customize them to your heart's content. Uh, but keep in mind, if you customize them highly and something ends up happening, you have an incident where you need a replacement part, uh, it could take longer if, you want, if you're going to want a color matched part. Uh, so say if you have body color forks or something, uh, they used to have the Sahara tan colored forks. If you had the forks and you bent a fork, the chances of us having one of those in stock are slim to none. Uh, so you would have to wait uh, to get replacement parts. So keep that in mind uh, if you are shopping for one. Just depends on what your purpose is with it. Of course, we never like to think about those unforeseen circumstances, but you just never know. But we can equip them however you'd like to see it. And we've been selling the Euro products since 2006, so we've been around them a long time. Know just about all the ins and outs of uh, everything on the machine. We've also been known to do a lot of uh, troubleshooting and whatnot, so very good, very well versed with that. Uh, you can see here on the final drive of this one, this is the new vent kit that the factory is utilizing. Uh, it's a rubber hose on a barb. Uh, they've modified the swing arm. Uh, to have tabs where they can zip tie around there and there. 
um, and then they bring it up and they go up in behind they go up behind the side panel and it's got a vent cap on the end and then it's zip tied to the frame we offer a bellows kit and the bellows kit for upgrading uh, on the other ones that uh, don't have the uh, hose barb from the factory you can get the hose barb with the bellows that goes on the end uh, to act as a vent for your uh, final drive to keep the oil from getting onto your wheel they've been known to build up pressure and puke oil out so that's the reason for reason for that And of course, the CT model runs the 18-inch wheels. Uh, these 18-inch wheels do sport the Heidenau K28 400 by 18 sidecar rated tire. And of course, Brembo caliper on the front, Brembo on the sidecar, and haze on the back. See the cask bracket that was upgraded uh, Last year sometime, stainless steel pivot pins and bearings on the front forks. These are uh, stainless and then there's a bearing, two bearings actually, pressed into there. Same thing on the uh, rear motorcycle. You see this tab here, this used to be for the locking tab. They used to come with a, a hex bolt and then they had a locking tab that was folded up keep the bolt from rotating uh, they found out that it really wasn't necessary with uh, modern fasteners so they had the stainless steel allen bolt made um, and then it just threads into a, a nut back here see the rear has a cast bracket as well uh, this is a very heavy duty cast unit and that is your HB brake stainless steel exhaust system uh, stainless steel mount as well And then, of course, now with the black powertrain, the kicker lever is black. You can see that's the motor casting. Um, and then this threads into the end. Makes it a lot easier to put a new rubber on there, or the rubber cover, protective cover. Makes it easier to install that. John Deere, Gleaner, or Case IH? Combine off in the distance. If you guys are from farm country, you'll know what I'm talking about. But uh, back to the motorcycle. Uh, 2020, 2021. Sorry about that. First of the 2021s. 2021 Ural CT. Again, we have this one available. I also have one of these left in a 2020. Uh, looks just about identical. Only difference is we have that one in the showroom equipped with tan fabric. This one has the uh, black fabric and then the one in the showroom also came in with a spare wheel which we have the spare wheel off of right now because the customer wanted to see it with a luggage rack so we put a luggage rack on it uh, but it's available either way or we can do this one with a spare tire if you want uh, you've probably seen our other video on the olive drab one that was decked out that went to kansas uh, that gentleman had just about everything added to that uh, it's kind of a neat deal uh, and he came in from kansas and rode it around here for a while and then we did the break-in service before he took it home uh, so he's got all kinds of accessories added to it we can do that to this one as well uh, we can put a luggage rack on here or we can put the spare wheel mount we can put a uh, spare tire on there um, complete with the uh, height now k28 matching tire you can also put the front bumper on these. Uh, the bumpers that you see on the gear up model uh, will bolt right on the front. If you do that, uh, you know, if you buy that afterwards and you do want to install it on your own, uh, don't get alarmed when you get your bumper and you say, well, it doesn't line up to these two holes. That's correct. Uh, those two holes, they use those when they hang the sidecars to paint. Uh, so you will end up drilling two additional holes up here is where the bumper will go. Uh, the bottom bolts of the bumper go onto the frame. Um, right down here those that uh, button head cap screw right there comes out um, the bumper bolts on there and then you just kind of hold the bumper up and drill your drill your other two holes and then this unit has the uh, two-thirds solo seat with of course there's no fender or no holes in the rear fender other than the two where the seat bolts
So if you did want to add, uh, say, the bench, go with a bench seat, you would end up drilling two holes, uh, basically in line right here. There's a double section underneath. There's actually a double section here. That's where the holes would get drilled if you want to go with a bench seat. Or you can also go with the uh, tractor style solo seat, the old style seat, which does require you to buy an additional plate um, because the new units have a two piece plate. Maybe hard to see underneath there, uh, but there's just a short plate in the front, short plate in the back. So if you go with the old style tractor solo seat, you need the bridge plate in order to hold that up. Of course, we're running the same fuel sensor as what we've been running before. Um, same spark plugs, same spark plug caps, same engine. Um, all the torque specs are the same. Uh, we can zoom in right here and you can see, see when this one was manufactured. Manufactured 07 of 20, so July of 2020. Uh, this is a 21 that was manufactured then. This is the first time in history, I think, that they've had the uh, fact is, I don't think, I almost know for a fact that this is the first time, uh, or this is the earliest that they've had next year's models available. I guess there's got to be some pluses to every, all the scenarios that the whole world's been going through. So, do have 2021s available. We've also have uh, 2020s left. Uh, do have, I think I've got uh, 12 or 13 uh, 2020s left pretty good selection inside the showroom so if you're looking for a uh, 2020 uh, definitely give us a call or send us an email we can quote you on one of those uh, if you're a current Ural owner there is a loyalty rebate available as to whether or not you trade in your bike or not uh, you can get a thousand bucks if you are a uh, current Ural owner So I don't know, I didn't tell you this, but maybe if your buddy's got an old junk one somewhere, you can buy it for five bucks and uh, then you'll be a Ural owner and then you can come buy a brand new one. Uh, we'd give you a thousand bucks. And you don't have to trade in the Ural either, so. It's a program they just kicked off here a couple weeks ago. Uh, Ural loyalty rebate program. Big Bird. They may be spying on us again. Uh, but yeah, they've uh, kicked off a loyalty rebate program, so. And it's actually an instant discount rather than a rebate. And then the other option that there is, if you are trading in, uh, it doesn't matter what you're trading in, uh, car, truck, minivan, uh, motorcycle, anything that's titled uh, that we're willing to take in on trade, you will pay $500 over what the trade-in value is. Uh, so that's available to you. I uh, just had a gentleman this morning pick up a 2020 Slate Gray. I uh, went back to West Virginia, and he traded in his 2017 Indian Roadmaster. Uh, so we'll be having an Indian Roadmaster available for sale, too. So, And we try to be flexible, uh, work with you however we can. Again, this is just a little overview here of the 2021 Ural CT in the Terracotta Metallic black powertrain and round retro lights Heindel motorcycle sales eaton ohio stay tuned for more thanks for watching